Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at another Synology app. This is the active backup for Office 365. Um, this is a very awesome app. It's free. Um, as long as you have an active Office 365 license, of course, um, you can select as many users as you want. Um, you can do the backups uh, every couple hours. Um, you can set up it however you want. And not only does it just do the email, but it does contacts, calendar items, uh, even OneDrive, um, I believe, is a new feature now. And you can do the SharePoint sites now. Um, so there's a lot of new things that um, are now backing up. Um, so you can see here there's a screenshot on Synology's website that kind of gives you, this is a good place to go to if you want to learn more about it. It gives you all the features that the app has. Um, there is no licensing cost, it tells you that there. Now you do need a higher end model Synology. It, it's the plus model, so like the 515 plus, uh, 519 plus, uh, the 2019 plus, you know, the higher end plus models because it does require more processing power and memory to run this application. Um, so I, the thing that I love about this app the most is the backup solution. So let's say we have a client, they delete half their mailbox or delete a folder. They can simply, they have a user portal, the user will log into it, see their mailbox, see their backups through the whole um, past six months or however you go, how, however far you go back. Um, they can search for the email. They can uh, select a whole bunch of emails here and hit export or restore. The awesome thing is it has the restore option, so it can restore right back into your Office 365 mailbox by hitting one button. Or if you don't want to restore it to your mailbox, you can simply hit the export button here and export all those emails right to like a zip folder with all the emails and attachments in it. Um, so let's go ahead and s install the app. So we've logged into our Synology, and this is a, uh, uh, so it's the 918 plus. Um, so this is compatible to it. Uh, so we can go ahead and go to our package center. If you don't see it in your package center, that means you don't have a Synology NAS compatible. And I believe they have a list somewhere on their website that's compatible NAS is here, but it's pretty much all the, as I did some research on it, it's all the plus models of NAS is pretty much of their uh, particular models. So we go ahead and click on the active backup and hit install. So let's let this run. All right, once it's installed, you're gonna see it's running and then we're gonna hit open, close out of this. Now you do have to connect, you're gonna need to know the administrator password for your entire uh, Office 365 environment, so you do, will need this. I um, mean, I believe you need a Synology account. Yep, a Synology account is required for, to activate the process. So we're going to go ahead and hit activate, and we're going to log in with our Synology um, account. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to log in with my account information, and you just need to do this on your end. All right, once you log in with your Synology um, information and you just need to go to Synology's website to create an account to do that. Um, I went to, uh, let's see here, I'll pull it up. I just simply went to uh, account.synology.com. If you don't have an account, you have to create one and assign uh, those details to this area here. Once you activate it, hit OK. And now we can begin the process. Now, depending if you're in Germany or United States, you're going to hit just Office 365, but if you're in Germany, I guess, or operated by this other third party, click this, but we're going to, we're a normal Office 365 US, so we're going to hit the top one here, and it looks like we're going to have to, so this is <clears throat> where you're going to log in with the main administrator account that has control over the entire uh, exchange environment. So let's go ahead and log in here, and like I said, I'm going to pause the video here because I'm logging in with the client's uh, information. So uh, this is where you, you, where you would put in your Office 365 admin account and log in here. All right, so once you log in successfully, you're basically giving uh, Synology Active Backup full permission to read profiles, read emails, sync emails, contacts, mailboxes, users, full profiles, and everything. So we do want to give um, this full permission. So we just need to scroll down and hit Accept. And wait for this to load here. And we'll be able to select what users we want to back up. We can select all of them. I mean, it just really depends. And hit I agree. 
and then we should begin a use of uh, a list of users here in just a minute but it's connecting to it right now so it looks like we do need to create a shared uh, folder so we'll just create one called backups Hit next next and then hit apply that's fine hit okay it looks like we have to go through the process again. So like I said, I'm going to pause this while and we log in and we hit accept again on these terms of service. And then I agree. So now it's syncing all the information from uh, Office 365, so you can see there's seven users and six sites to back up. We're going to back up everything. Um, so enable active backup for Office 65 portal. I don't think we need that. User without item printers can restore. Yes, we actually do want that. Because basically what that's enabling, so users can log in without having admin privileges and just see their mailbox and restore data. Um, so we're just named this Office 365 Backup. And destination, we'll put in Backups. Hit Next. And we're going to do Continuous Backup, so it's backing up throughout the day. And we're going to follow we're gonna a number of days of history of preservations. Let's set that for 30 so it doesn't keep all versions. Hit Next. And then Apply. So since we're selecting all users um, it's going to be backing out backing up all those users so you can see the backup is already running and it's processing these users here I have that um, kind of blurred out just because you know this is a client that we're setting this up for so this could take a long time depending on how many emails and mailboxes they have um, so I would just let this process run and what's nice about this is you can see um, through the days of the month uh, and the week, of course, on when, when the backup fails or when it's successful. And it'll be green when it's successful, yellow if there's an error that happened, and then red if it f completely failed. And usually when it errors out on red, that usually means it can't get out to the internet. And that's mainly the cause of that. Um, so while this is backing up, we can now see we have two different, we will go ahead and close out of here. We now have two different icons, backup for Office 65, and we have the portal. Now the backup here is going to just show you what we were just in, um, but the thing that we want to be looking for is the backup portal. That's the thing where we can go into people's mailboxes, restore email, um, all kinds of things. And you can, like I have, I have this blurred out, so sorry you can't really see so much here. Um, but basically when you hit view roles, you can view a particular user's uh, email box. So here we're clicking on uh, a person that works there, so we're clicking on their email, hit OK. And it's still syncing, but it's going to be showing all their emails here shortly. And also you need to change uh, this to mail, because we're actually in the files. So if we switch to mail, you can see it's syncing all of her inboxes and everything, and all of her subfolders, and she's got a lot of subfolders. So you can see it's starting to sync all of those right now. And you're not going to see anything for the next couple of hours, because like I said, this task is still running. So if we go to task list, you can see it's still processing. So this is going to take... Um, a while for that to run. So let that run and you successfully set up Office 365 backups. If you need to edit it, you just go to task list, click on the task, hit edit, and you can actually edit the users. If you want to backup mail items or not mail items from a particular user, you can select all that from here. So it's very nice and intuitive. Um, you can customize it to what you want. Even the sites, you can backup what sites. And then the version, we're doing continuous, you can change that here again. Um, so like I said, let this run all night long because it will take a long time for this to sync. But once it's sync, anything going forward would be a lot faster. Hope this was helpful for you guys and hopefully you can use this to start backing up your Office 365 environment because sometimes uh, they limit to your backup archives. I know they changed that recently to like 100 gigs, so you definitely have a lot of storage now. Um, but this is just another way to have a second backup on, on and having it as an on-prem solution so you can quickly have the users go to their portal, log in, and they can get to uh, their mailbox and recover any emails they want to recover. 
This is uh, great for the law firms for sure.